Let's look at some of the most important calculations for our Amazon business. Okay, I'm gonna start by adding a few columns. So I'm gonna add the sale price. I'm gonna add Amazon the referral fee. I'm gonna add Amazon fulfillment fee. Then I'm gonna add profit margin and of course the most important one ROI so I'm just going to auto expand these so we can see them a bit better okay great now let's just also hide um, these first three or four columns so they're not in the way so I can just grab them like this and right click on the ones that I want to hide and I can click on hide Another thing we can do instead of hiding, I'm just going to undo that. We can also group them together to group to group um, uh, data to group columns of data together. You just want to head over to data at the top of the screen right there, and in the outline section on the right, click on group. And now um, this little line appears over here. So if we click on the minus symbol, it basically uh, minimizes everything from this point down to here. So I'm just going to do that. And now it's been minimized. So we, we don't we don't have that in the way. If we want to bring it back up again, we click on the plus. Now let's just pretend we have gone through every one of these ASINs and recorded the actual value. So the sale price, the Amazon referral fee, and the Amazon fulfillment fee. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to grab some um, some random values that I have here. I'm just going to copy these, uh, just grab these. So I'm copying them. Uh, okay. I'm just going to paste them in here. So we have uh, we have the sale price for these items. We have the Amazon referral fee and the Amazon fulfillment fee. So I'm just going to add a new column here. I'm going to call it Amazon total fee. So AMS total fee. And what, the, what will that mean? It will be whatever it is in the Amazon referral fee plus the Amazon fulfillment fee. So this is going to equal this plus this. So $5.88. Um, now, I just want every, everything that's got Amazon related, I'm going to color it in the column title as orange. So let's apply this um, formatting double click on format paint up let's apply it to this column this column and this column great remove that okay so this formula is m plus n or amazon referral fee plus amazon fulfillment fee let's apply that to the whole column okay let's also minimize that to be to be the um, exact size now these two columns here, um, we don't necessarily need them anymore because we have the Amazon total fee. So we can either right click here and hide it, or we can, I can undo that and I can actually group them. To group them, of course, we go to data and click on group. And now they're grouped. We can minimize that and have that there. Okay, let's move over to the profit section. So this is profit, margin and ROI. Let's make these green because it's got it's 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 in the category of um, the profit section so I like to have that green beautiful okay so what is profit so profit equals uh, equals the sale price which is $17.70 minus our ASIN cost how much it costs us to source the ASIN so I just picked up a little mistake that we have here the ASIN cost over here is ten dollars seventy. We're still referring to the original price. We've got to change that to refer it to the discounted price. So notice that it's it's looking at E three plus um, whatever is whatever our prep fee is. So we want to change it from E three to the one that's after our discount, which is G. So I'm going to come in here, I'm going to remove the E and add the G, and hit enter. So it's nine dollars seventy. Let's apply that to the whole column. Okay, great. So back to what we were saying. What is profit? So profit equals our sale price, whatever we sell it for on Amazon, minus how much it costs for us to source it, which is in this case $9.70, $9 plus the 70 cents prep, minus the Amazon total fees, which is in column O, now we hit enter. So it's $2.13 profit for this product. Okay. 
So what is margin? So margin is of, is of course our profit, it equals our profit divided by the sale price, $17.70. So we're gonna hit that, hit enter, okay? Let's, let's convert this to a percentage. We're gonna come here and click on, on the percentage symbol right there. So it's 12%. Now, what is our ROI? Our ROI equals the $2.13 that we mentioned earlier. So our profit divided by our total cost to source the, um, the product, which is in column K. Now I'm gonna hit enter there, 21.9%. Let's convert that to a percentage. All right, great. So now we have, for this one column, we have the, the profit in a dollar figure, we have its margin, 12% margin, and 22% ROI. Now let's grab this and apply it to all the all the rows below. Oh, missed one. I missed two actually. All right, there we go. So that's that. So now we have the um, the the profit, the margin, the and the ROI for all those items. Just gonna put some border lines there, so it's nice and neat. Okay, there we go.